According to U.S. Customs and Border Protection, four Iranians have been apprehended since the beginning of this month. They might not all be Hamas, but they're anti-Semitic. We don't know who they are. This is not the point. This is not the time now to take any chances. But I want y'all to see this video right here. This one says Iranians are apprehended at the southern border. So now people are starting to try to really get over here so that they can do what? What exactly are they trying to do? Let's see for ourselves. We are back with a Fox News alert. FBI Director Christopher Wray is now warning Americans to stay vigilant for possible terror threats here at home. So, Ainsley, Ray fears that Hamas copycat attacks could happen on U.S. soil. Meanwhile, national security concerns rise at our southern border. That's because our Border Patrol agents have announced that four Iranians here illegally have been apprehended in Texas just in the last month. Alexandria Hoff is live at the White House with more. Alex. That's wild how we are catching. Oh, man, we got Iranians trying to sneak into the border. And we apprehend them. We lock them up immediately. But we let as many Mexicans over as possible. We let as many Asian Americans over as possible. I mean, Asians over as possible. Um, I thought that we were still beefing with Chinese. Well, we just now let probably like hundreds of Chinese people over. And these men that were coming over, all of them, I can't even tell you um, what I gathered from the situation, but it, the potential of them coming over as sleeper cells is a possibility, but we're not considering that. We see someone from Iran and we arrest them immediately because we know of our relationships with that part of the world. So this is nuts, man. It's, it's a little too big for my little brain, but I'm trying to catch up. That's the reason why I'm checking out all of this information. Hey guys, I'm here in the Washington Bureau right now. I actually, I want to comment because you guys were talking to Trey about uh, the idea of Hamas being an ideology and you don't have to train with Hamas terrorists to think like them. That's the message coming out from the FBI is that we should not discount the possibility that Hamas or other terrorist organizations will take advantage of the current conflict by calling on supporters to carry out an attack here in the United States. The Bureau's biggest concern is a solo assailant. We've got to be on the lookout, especially for lone actors who may take inspiration from recent events to commit violence of their own. And this, of course, has sparked increased concern over the flow of migrants at our southern border. According to U.S. Customs and Border Protection, four Iranians have been apprehended since the beginning of this month. That is four. They're all considered to be special interest aliens. That's a term used to describe individuals coming from countries identified by the U.S. government as having conditions that promote or protect terrorism. Individuals may also have some suspicious travel patterns. And that's what I just now asked about. I didn't say it the way that she said it, but she answered their special interest aliens. I never heard that 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 term before. Special interest aliens. It makes perfect sense, but now I have a better understanding. And look at this. In the first 14 days of this fiscal year, over 30 Iranians were apprehended at the southern border, nearly 60 Syrians, 35 Pakistanis, more than 100 Russians, 285 Afghans, and nearly 2,000 Chinese migrants. Over the past two years, U.S. Border Patrol has not 2,000 Chinese? Mm. Countered almost 73,000 special interest aliens, many of them from Middle Eastern countries. And just last week, CBP agents apprehended two Lebanese nationals in Eagle Pass, Texas. They were also considered to be special interest aliens. Lebanon, of course, home to Hezbollah. Guys. Wow. That's all scary. Yeah, and uh, there, are these, there are these two lawmakers, two congressmen in Washington, they're trying to pass that legislation so that uh, we don't allow anyone from, from Gaza, any of the mm. Palestinian authorities, it, uh, to enter into our country. Where does that stand? Do you know? The Gaza Act. Yeah, you know, that's interesting. We were reading about that a little bit when I was at the White House yesterday. Um, it's certainly getting some pushback from people because the idea is you have these special interest aliens, as we were just talking about. Not all of them um, are people who adhere to the same beliefs as their government. Many are seeking refugee, re, you know, refuge in the United States, wanting to distance themselves. So it's going to get a lot of pushback, uh, but it's making waves because people in the United States are scared. Yeah, uh, Alex, thanks so much. Appreciate yeah. it. And when Ron DeSantis is leading the charge on that uh, among the candidates, and one of his points is, look, uh, they might not all be Hamas, but they're anti-Semitic. We don't know who they are. This is not the point. This is not the time now to take any chances. I think it's a little bit different with Afghanistan. We were there for 20 years, and you have all these, uh, you have all these, allies, uh, yeah. all the allies, but you all these uh, examples of 
them, them showing loyalty in the past, whether they were interpreters, uh, whether they actually fought with us, the type of positions they had with the government that was ousted because we left. But that's a lot different than now. I'm, I'm, with, I'm in the Ron DeSantis camp. Stay vigilant, folks. Stay vigilant. That's all I got to say. The people who look at it as conspiracy theories believe that this is all set up by the U.S. government. I don't believe it's set up by the U.S. government. I believe um, because everyone's every single thing that's happening, like even the Israel thing, a lot of people believe, well, not a lot, but there's enough people out there who believe that um, the bombing and the attacks from the Hamas was not only allowed, but set in place by Israel so that they can have like permission, public permission to go ahead and attack Palestine and get them off the map wipe them off the map and and that right there is speculation all right it's speculation because a lot of people don't know but we continue to share this information as if it's facts um and now people are doing it here with the united states um we're planning everything where we're planning everything so that we can have permission to start world war three start world war four move on and so forth and so on because we want to bring world population down to a certain number and is is crazy is is nuts but at the end of the day we'll figure it out together let's just continue to have conversations and really try to figure this out together rather than uh, rather than trying to be the ones that have the uh the right answer the only right answer a lot of people want to have the only right answer and i don't think it's only one answer to be honest with you i believe that things are turning around and if we continue to just fight and bicker amongst one another and not accept objective perspectives, object, um, not accept perspectives objectively, then it's just going to go around and round and round more and more and more confusion, more anger because no one's believing what you're saying and we'll continue to lose.